Hello and welcome everybody to another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, we're standing today! We're standing today! Yes, we're uh, mixing it up a little bit because I've incurred an injury that requires a stand, and it's horribly painful to sit, so, you know what, this would just be a new vantage point to, like, break some boxes and stuff. Well, that was a lot further to fall. Yeah. Hopefully everything's okay. Probably. Unfortunately, everybody's cards today will be dented! No, they won't. They won't be dented. It'll be fine. Roll the intro! As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week we will also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now it is time for the wheel of energy, which yeah. I will hold. There we go. Let's see it. What do you think, Ben? Fireball this time? Gotta be fireball. Gotta, Gotta be, be fireball. fireball. Is, is, we're due. Uh, uh, long uh, uh, overdue. Uh, uh, uh. Could it be? Oh, it's a raucous pummeling. pummeling. Here we go. All right. Everyone's favorite. The raucous pummeling type advantage for today's episode. Let's go ahead and break right on into this box. And while we do that, we'll tell you about today's randomly chosen common chase cards, which are going to be Giraffering, the one we can pronounce, Pincurchin, and Skipbloom. And I think we need to look out, because I think there's two Pinkurchin. You know, Pinkurchin? I feel like yeah. I've been saying Pinkurchin. Oh, well, Pinkurchin, I, I mean, which makes more sense, because urchins. It is like urchin, but also Kurchin doesn't not make sense, because it's also like Pincushion. It is It is like that. And yeah. actually, I used to sell uh, aquarium-type related stuff, yeah. and there is a pin cur a pin cushion urchin, which oh. looks like a pincushion. Well, that's exactly what that's going for, then. It is definitely. It's, it's hitting all the, all the various... Actually, that looks more like a pencil tip, if I'm being honest with you, a pencil tip urchin. Well... But, you know, either way, it's fine. No, no big deal. I don't want to be overly technical about it. Let's dive <laughs> into today's box! <laughs> All right, our first contestant today is going to be Sydney Steele. Sydney Steele. Stole my pen. Sydney is coming into today's episode with 26 points. This is her second pack, so Sydney's actually doing really good. She's in fourth uh, to start the episode. Although, even if she got 26 points again, she would not be in first. That still resides with our eight times multiplier. Carly. The, Carly Arts. We got the Dark Teardrop Energy, the Super Rob, the Love Disc, the Snover, the Fletchling, the Flamigo, Toro the Poly scores. Scores will Oh, score. the Skiploom scores. Skiploom will score. You're right. The Pyroar will not score, although it looks like it would have. The Pinkurchin. Oh, that's wrong, Pinkurchin. It's the wrong one. So we're almost looking for like the Claymation variation of it. So that's the, that is the mom that we are talking about. Good Claymation omen either way. variation and Rabska. Maybe the, Rabska. the least popular Pokemon in this entire generation, if you ask me. Yeah, I would agree with that. But either, either which way, we we were able to score three points on our first pack of the day. Well, there you go. All right, Sydney, three points puts you up to twenty nine, which actually does move her up the rankings a tiny bit into uh, third Second. place. No, right? third place. Your third yeah. place. Third Whoa. place. Take these out, bam. I'm still bam. adjusting to standing. Everything, my all my vantage points. Right I know now, everything's right? a little bit different Where while we're look? standing. What so. do I do with my hands? <laughs> Thanks for bearing with us. All right, next up is Elizabeth, who's coming in with just two points on the season. So hopefully, a uh, much bigger pack on the complete opposite end of the spectrum from Sydney. Let's see how she does. This is Sydney, who likes to sew quilts, by the way. So let's see. Kabam! Got the uh, salad energy, so no type advantage for her. Filicoco, Bramblin, Qfon, Honchko, the Pseudo Wudo will score. The Grusha, the Vespaquin will not. The Practice Studio doesn't. And the Palmot. So just oh. a repeat two point performance. Goodness gracious for, for Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Okay, well, there we go. I mean, it's, you know, not the, not the worst place to be in. I mean, it, it doesn't feel like that could be last place potential, but you you never really know what could happen. I mean, yeah, anyone can pull anything at any time. Next up, we have Haley and Colin, who have got 12 points on the season. This is one of our power couples. Okay, okay, yeah. It, it, honestly, it is kind of amazing to me the number of those that have formed 
in the game since we since we started this whole thing. Yeah, that like teammate approach. But there's if there's one thing that makes me really happy, it's when anybody watches the show together yeah. like, with friends. It's <gasps> like, box oh man, that's so fun. Actually, I was with Big Steve last week when the box breakers went live and he got the notification. He's like, hey, new box breakers episode. And I was like, that's so cool. Yay. Anyway, so that happened. Super Rob, the love disc, the Snover. Man, I feel like I've had this exact pack already before. I know. Doesn't that seem very familiar it to does. you? It does. The Fletchling, the Artisan, the Paldean Tauros. Oh yeah, wow. The Different Practice one. Studio, the Kufant will not score. The Calamitous Wasteland will not score. Oh, oh but the, the Lycanroc Lycan Rock will. will. And it gets the extra point for being the type advantage. It does indeed. So number 117 on the set. The first time we get to go over to our score sheet here. Only worth 72 cents though, so a two point oh, pack. Oh man, just another two point pack. But a nice full art carved with the Lycanroc EX. Kind of looks like bulk EX though, if you ask me. It definitely does. Yeah, yeah just as far as bit. I know, there's not any other like um, baby Lycanrocs that can like join it in the deck to uh, make it competitively viable, but you never know. You never know. Things okay. like this change over time. There we go, so enjoy. We sleeved it up for you either which way. Cards headed your direction. Bam, next up is Drawing Hearts. Oh, and as as ever, As we need ever. to do it over here so they can oh, see. Oh yeah, I'll you're... draw another heart on the pack here, or on your card for you. Ooh, there you go. Amazing, amazing, each time we do it. All right, let's Drawing see. Drawing Hearts has three, three points, points so today. far. Okay, okay. Let's see. Has a, uh, oh, this is, uh, Drawing Hearts has a birthmark like Anna from Frozen, so like the, the white hair. The white streak? I assume, yeah. Or an ice mark from your sister. Ooh. And her sorcery. All right, Fireball Energy, Moschief, Slack Off, Whoop, or Dunsparce, nothing yet. Passimian will score, the Corviknight, the Mankey will, will score. score. Excellent, the Mimikyu will, will also score, score. and, and the, the Hariyama! There we go, so there we go. One, two, three, four, five points on the pack there. Well done, way to score with every card you could. That's absolutely amazing. Definitely like racking up all the different variations. Next up we have Tex. Tex. Tex who has 10 points on the season so far. Participating for Team Grass today. Yep. Team Grass has not been having the season they want. Last season they were almost unstoppable. This season, not so much. Not so much. So we go. We got the Lightning Bolt Energy. So still no Rockus Pummelings. We got the Voltorb, the Clavel, the Dunsparce, the Noibat, the Dendra, the Palisand, Raichu, Artisan, uh, which will not score. The Citadel will also not score. And the, the Hydreigon. So our first single point pack of the day. How mm. unfortunate for Tex. It is indeed. Well, let's go ahead and check. Oh, no, it doesn't They've matter. They've already got 10, 10 points. points so yeah, definitely not, not in last place contention. There we go. Well, so that means last week, though, at least they had a pretty solid pretty solid performance, even yeah. if this one was a little underwhelming. I uh, know, but still not good for Team Grass, I'll tell you what. No, not so much, yeah. Man. Do we have a, a leaderboard here? We do, indeed. Uh, currently, Team Electric is in first place with 162 points. Team Water in second with 123. Team Grass in third. Uh, with 74, and Team Fire is in last with 66. Right, and don't forget, if your team is the winning team, you'll get a special commemorative pin for the season. There we go. Declaring you champion stuff. forever and always. Forever and always. Bam, eyeball energy. So, here we go. Krogunk will score. Oh, and, have, and, and that's our next contestant, which is going to be Akron Guy. Akron Guy. Akron Guy. Akron. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, we it's have a that total. Total. Trudel, Jigglypuff, the Prime Ample right. score, the Bramble Gast will not, the Raichu will not, and the Chinyu EX. There there we go. There we go, okay. That's number 40 on the set, which is gonna be a front pager here. It's gonna be worth just, yeah, bulk EX category. It's gonna be 84 cents uh. around that just a single point, uh, but we'll get three points on the pack over there. We're just heating up, you guys. We're just heating up. We're just heating, heating up. up. You know, with the, with the Chi Yu. With the with Chi Yu, the, the little underwater firefish. Underwater firefish. Yeah. Is that what Chi Yu is? Oh my gosh, I'm literally only just now properly paying attention to the. the yeah, but it's like, wait a minute, firefish? Hold on. I like the sound of this. Somebody, somebody really is speaking my language a little bit. I love fires and fish. Yeah. Is there a firefish? There actually is a fish called a firefish. Yeah. Um, and they kind of look like little matchsticks. Oh, so not like Chi Yu. Not like Chi Yu. No, yeah, this looks, looks like more, more like, like a, a goldfish. goldfish. Yeah. yeah. A legendary goldfish. A legendary goldfish. Goldfish are basically just carp. <laughs> there we go. There you go. All right, next up we've got Brooke, a Brooke. former season champion, lest I recall. All right, so watch out for Brooke. Only has three points this season, but of course uh, pulled our alt our Lugia a couple seasons ago for Silver Tempest. It's it's the thing though. I feel like you you have to say it. It's like in Game of Thrones. It's like having King's blood. Yeah. It's like having Victor's blood. It's yeah. like you know, there's something to it. You Brooke know? has royal blood. Royal blood, exactly. exactly. So we got the divine right to pull. Yeah. Right. Voltorb, Clavel, Tropius, Dunsparce, Florigato, Quaxwell. Maybe we spoke too soon. Uh, Delivery no. drone. The oh, Dunsparce. Critical hit. Oh, critical hit with the double Dunsparce. Bam. The there it Dunsparce. Is. 
although not the da dun spars. Not the da dun spars. Nailed it. Totally making a reference. The pupitar will then score, and, and the, the abominus will score. Gosh, but still, it's only going to be a four point four pack. point pack yeah, with so the one, dun two spars. times two. Wow, Man. look at that. Well, either way, for Brooke, but you know what? She pulled the critical hit, which is exactly what you expect. It just goes to show that Brooke is not resting on her laurels and no. is going through and trying different avenues for potential new success. Exactly. You know what? You hit the. You know, it was still a good hit. It just was on a high points hit. Exactly. Exactly. There you go. Next up, we have... Reginald Bunyan! Reginald Bunyan! Yes, indeed we do, who has eight points on the season, so not doing too terribly bad. Let's see if we can get something big for them today. Reginald Bunyan has got the Teardrop Energy, the Q Font, the Krogonk will score. Magnemite, the Viper, Paldean Taurus, Luxio, Slack. Oh! Ooh! Now we're talking. That is the Illustrator Art Chien Pao and the Slow King EX. Oh my gosh, Goodness what a pack. Gracious. Okay, so this Chien Pao is like the poster child of this set. So this is, you would, you'd think it'd be the most valuable card, but it's it's not. It's still behind the Iono and the Magikarp. But let's see. This is this should be big points. It is big points indeed. Yeah. 2903, Whoa! which means it will get 30 points for the Chien Pao. So the 31 with the Crow Gunk plus whatever the Slow King is worth. We'll double check that just to be sure. Number 86 on the set is just going to be worth a single point as well. So Okay, so 32 points! 32 oh points. Oh my god. Very impressive. That brings them up to 40 on the season and is good enough for second place. Great place to be in. Man, Great and it puts place. Team Electric, they continue to put up big points this season. That means they now have the first, second, and fourth spot on the board. Wow, very impressive for Team Electric who were just like like, you know what, last season, grass ran all over us, and we're just not going to allow that. We're not going to have it. We're not going to have it. Instead, we're going to pull Chien Pao. That's yes. an amazing pull. There what a great go. card. Yep, congratulations. Very competitive. That is so cool. Yep, awesome. Well done to uh, Munyan. Next up is Bobby with two Ys, exactly where you'd expect. Ha! Huh. But three Bs, also where you'd expect. Wow. Three Bs. Yeah. Three, three Bs. Bs. Three Bs. The Bs is less surprising than the Lies. There's no doubt about it's that. Bobby. Yeah. Bob, there's always three Bs in Bobby. Has anybody ever called you Johnny? Oh, no. How about nobody's ever called me? Eh, somebody called me Benny once. Someone called you Benny? They pulled it off. Benny! They pulled it off. No one has been. No, no. I don't go by Johnny. There we no, go. No chance, no hell, my man. Okay. All right. Next up for Bobby, we've got Failings. Tad Bulb. Oh, the, the Draft Rig does what? score. The Toxicroak will score. Pelipper, Tropius, the Giacomo, and the Wigglytuff. The Giacomo does not score. That looks like a four-point pack if I ever saw one. Four-point pack indeed. For Bobby! This Bobby. Bring it to seven on the season for Team Fire. I don't think it's enough to even get on the board, though, to score some extra points for his team. So you have to keep an eye on it. Hopefully it does better on the next pack. Next up, we've got John Smith. John Smith for Team Grass here, looking to see if they can't uh, mount, um, you know, a bit of a, an offensive. Yeah. They said their favorite Pokemon are Mew, Mewtwo, Darkrai, Lucario, and Dialga. I don't think any of those Pokemon are in this set, unfortunately. Unfortunately, so maybe nothing to nothing to pull there. Although, very exciting, in the month of October, we'll be doing the 151 set, yeah, which we will. will feature Mewtwo and Mew. And anybody else from there? No. No, nothing not from that from list. There. But that would be a, a couple of really cool ones to pull from the that Mew set. The Mew is the one. Well, no, I think, I think you can't even pull the Mew. That's just a promo card. Oh, yeah. we'll have to get one somehow. Yeah. All right, let's see. We've got the Quaxley, the Charcadet, the Relor, the Gothitelle, Gothitelle. the Arctabax, the Giacomo, the Veluza, Veluza. Will oh, oh, the Gold Superior Energy Retrieval. That's amazing. There we go. And, and, and the, the Spirit, Spirit Tomb. tomb. Uh, so three scoring cards. Yep, indeed. So let's check number two. 77 Dude, there. I love a good gold trainer card. That is such such a way to bling your deck out. Absolutely. And it's going to come come in worth at $7.91. So eight points eight, for nine. that one. So 10 point pack overall for John Smith. It's going to be 13 points for Team Grass. I think that actually scores them a few points. Let's see. Let's see if we go over to Team Grass's scoreboard here. Yes, indeed. It does that will one point. One point for Team Grass. Who <laughs> All right. Like, we are clogging yeah, our Here we go. Back. Very impressive. <laughs> but you get the gold superior energy retrieval, which is an awesome and very usable card. Sometimes you get like the gold card and it's like, yay, but like I would never use this. I would never use it. So, so uh, then you just have to put it in your in your bling collection yeah, or you in put your it in the binder. Yeah, that's right. Or you can take a picture of it inside of a frame and then send us that picture and then we'll feature it here on the show. Exactly. That's what we will do. All right, next up is Chase of Dola's younger son fame. Oh, yes, yes, indeed. Yeah. Has two points on the season and loves hippos and collects pins. 
I've seen the pin collection too, and he is not kidding. Collects pins. Got all about some pins. All about the pins. You know what? Bam. Pins are about as fun as they get. I mean, Dude, it's such a fun thing. It is. All right. So dark uh, energy, no type advantage at all. Yeah, we have the phalanx, the score, the combi, the jigger, the rig. Oh, the draft rig scores. You're right. The Mabostiv, the Pupitar will score, the Flamigo, the Moshtif, the Shinx does not, and the Hydreigon. So just a four point pack. Man, looking for that afraid. critical hit though with the Mabostiv and the Moshtif. I know, so close. Got the full evolution line, but no critical hit, I am afraid. Just a couple of uh, type advantages and a little chase card there. So chase card point. for chase. Chase card for chase, yep. So six points on the season. Uh, hopefully that, that final pack will really be like where the big delivery comes from. Exactly. All right, next up we have Kevin. Kevin! Who has got a single point, and if you recall last episode, the uh, race for last place was heating up. I have to imagine it was a good single point, though, because it looks like bulky X kind of pull, because we didn't write down the cent amount, so. Which, yeah, that's, that is we'd surprising We'd have to go back and us. check, but. All right, let's see. So we've got the Hop Hip, the Wooper, the Noibat, the Combi, the Farafadrigor, the Spidops, <laughs> the Passimian will score, the Palmot will score, the Floragato! Whoa, the Floragato. I think we pulled one of those last week, I too. we did, yep. And so the Backscalibur. Go. Goodness wow. gracious. Okay, so really not going to be able to contend for last place, it doesn't seem, nope, but that's maybe for stuff. the better. So number 197 on the set is going to be $5.07 for the Floragato. So that's six points. Six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Nine points overall, Nine very points impressive. Overall to bring them to showing. 10 on the season for Kevin. All right, well done, Kevin. That might, what, what does that do for Team Fire? Does that do anything good? Ah, ties no. for uh, Aaron B and 0412. So, so it doesn't quite shift them forward yet, but has the potential to be um, one, of the, one of the score leaders for Team Fire. It so. does, if they can pull something good in their final pack next month. Next up, we have got Lauren. Lauren. Lauren, regular Lauren. Not another Lauren, not Lauren B from The Bachelor. Not Lauren like from Name of the Wind. Yeah. Master Lauren. There's, there's, there's a lot a of Laurens in the game. This is just Lauren. This is just Lauren. Just Lauren. All right, they've got two points, and this is Lauren whose mom was on Wheel of Fortune once. So they got some wheel experience, wheeling and dealing. Yeah, Boom! there we go. When you see it, just like yeah. that. I the think this has tells. happened. I feel like this has happened with yeah. this Lauren before because we used it. We've uh, we've read this fun fact in the past, and yeah. I feel like we it's like resonated. You're right. So. Anyway, it's working. It's Lauren's working. Lauren's got the wheel. She's the got family's the wheel. got that wheel energy. But can they get, can Lauren, oh, the pin kerchin. That's the right pin kerchin. That there we go. Score. Hey. Fletchender, Vigoroth, Orangaroo, Snowbro. Oh, the Clavel and the Gyarados. Unfortunately, it's just going to be a four point pack. Just a four point pack. There Our we first go. pin kerchin of the day. So that's, that's something to, you know. Think about so to call your your wheel of fortune mom about and be like, guess what? I got the first pin curtain of the day. Yeah, and and they'll know what that means. Yeah, they'll know what that means. Be like, it's based on a real sea urchin pin curtain. Uh, next up is Emily Stock. Am I? Up? Yeah. Okay. You're I'm up. up. You're up. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Come sorry. on. Jeez, man. My bad. I was just I, I I myself have just gotten engaged with watching the game unfold. That's all. Well, it's an exciting game. It was. Yeah, it is an exciting game. All right. Let's see here. E stock. What have we got for you today? We've got the Fireball Energy, which we've been hoping for lately and hasn't hit. We've got the Tad Bulb, the Frigibax, the Tandem Mouse, the Toddle, Talonflame, Heracross, Kilowattrel, Nimble will not score, Bombardier will not score, and the Horicorio. No, poor Emily. Oh, no, oh, Just the single point pack to break your total to six on the season. So really just nothing major to write home about for E-Stock this oh, go round. But either which way, bummer. thanks for playing. There's always next month. I feel like there's like a curse on the mods. I know, a lot of time. yes. Like the people who are do like the moderation in our Discord server, I'm always so excited when their names pop up and then they always have such bad, why are you guys so bad at this? Gosh. I can say that because I know them. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I've never said that about the rest of you guys, like Ethereal Squirrel here. Of course, no, Ethereal no. Squirrel, just known game maker. Known game maker has three points coming into the season. I don't have any fun facts about Ethereal Squirrel, so I won't tell you anything. Uh, but they're on Team Grass, which last season might have bode well. We'll see how it does this season. So I can make a reference to Ethereal yeah. Squirrel. So okay. in the video game Diablo, there are some items that are Ethereal, which means that they cannot be repaired, but it also means that they are more powerful in the Iterum. So I just like to think that uh, this is a more dangerous squirrel. A more dangerous squirrel, a okay. More dangerous squirrel. Well, yeah. more dangerous squirrel has done four points on the day with their Makohita and Sudowoodo scoring for type advantage, Skip Bloom on the chase card, and the Sableye rare card. There we go, okay. So there a couple different ways to score. Well done, way to play the game. Total of seven down, well done, well done. Maybe show the mods a thing or two if you get a, if you yeah, get if a you chance. Yeah, if you get a chance, you know, get in that Discord and be like, guys, 
Let's go. Speaking mm -hmm. of mods, look at this. What a segue. What? We couldn't have planned it if we tried. I know. It's like it's like she could hear me coming. This is Data Rage. Now, Data Rage uh, was in contention for last place a little while ago, and then she pulled a regular Lugia V. Not even the alt art one or anything. Jeez, come on, Data. Wow. Data, another one of our mods over on Discord. They've got three points on the season so far. Could this be her big one? I said, uh, well, I said back in season four, it looks like she did a 35, so that's not terrible. And there's, there's, there's been some decent, decent pulls. There we go. Bam, yeah, the so eyeball well. energy. All right, what do you got for us, Data? Wrong Magikarp. We're still looking for it. One We're, of these days, it'll show up. Someone is going to get it. Wrong, Wrong Pink Urchin. Larvitar scores Faulkner and Cerule Edge. Wow. As ever, the mod, the Curse of the Mods continues. Only six points on the season for Data Rage so far for Team Water there. Better luck next time, Data. Actually, we should find out. I bet she would run the numbers and figure out which of the mods is winning all time. Oh, that would be very. They could have like their own yeah. competition yeah. running on the side. That seems easy enough to pull. That seems like that data must exist somewhere. It does. All right, next, uh, longtime player of the game, crowd favorite. It's Cartavian. Cartavian. Yeah, they're from Kentucky, but live in Colorado. I like it. I like it. So far, they're competing for last place with a nine cent single point uh, pack last month. Okay. All right. So Off we're looking. Good. Well, I already got two points on this pack, though. Oh unfortunately. yeah, there we go with the Glimmer. Yeah. yeah, you're right. The Frigibax, the Tandem. The Spigotito, the Reversal Energy, Therapeutic Energy, Choice Belt, the Passimian will also score, uh, the Magnemite will not score, and then the Wigglytuff. So, really taking you out of last place contention and not really scoring anything, you'd really be excited to yeah, take home. Yeah, I mean, so, you'd really, you'd have preferred to score less, I think. Yeah, I think so. Scenario. I think so. Yeah, the Wigglytuff maybe wouldn't have even been the worst. Let's take a quick peek just for funsies on if that had been the only thing you pulled with number 84 on the set. That would have just been worth a mere eight cents. A mere there. eight cents. So you could have done even worse than last time, but alas, you did better, and in some ways, therefore, worse. Yeah. But uh, of course, I mean, not that uh, I want to say the jump fluff is the worst card you can pull. The jump fluff right? is the worst card you can Which pull. Which in some way very... makes it the best card. Yes, exactly. Making it, yeah, only just five cents for a rare card is the lowest value rare card, and the only rare card only worth five cents. Man, so there you go. So if you're in last place, look for that jump fluff. Now we have another Lauren. Another Lauren, which actually yes. this worked out well because. We had Lauren and then another Lauren. But right. This person's name is literally another Lauren. Right. But it would have been it would have been backwards if we had had another Lauren and then Lauren. Right. It would have been backwards. So it was good. Whoever planned this out did a good job. All right. We have the teardrop energy, the pi the correct pink urchin, the Diano, the wrong carp, slow poke. <laughs> <laughs> that worked out nicely. Right. You got to tell the Cerulege will score. The Litlio will not. Oh. Ooh. And the full art Clavel, which oh, gosh, speaking of. Like the lowest value full art cards. I think Clavel is the lowest value full art trader in the set. Let's see. I could be wrong. Number 249, you're not wrong. Uh, Number uh, $1.55 uh, so for the Clavel. So two, two three, four. Man. Point for another Lauren. A lot of people landing at that seven spot today. I know. Maybe it's just lucky number seven is just doing its thing. Yep. Man, I guess that puts a lot of people in good uh, a good spot to maybe try and land for Big Steve in the final episode. Right, yep, that's true. Big Steve currently sitting, uh, let's see, where is Big Steve on the leaderboard? Number 20th overall with 13 points. All right, so 14 is the magic number. Yes, and Chris K is the only person who currently is sitting inside of that position. However, uh, still stands to potentially pull yet another pack, so right. we'll find out. All right, and then uh, just while we're on it, we have our quality ace place leader right now is Emerald Fiend. Well, I think it's already changed in today, so I think it's ABBA at 21 points so if you want to get to like the 22 mark uh, in order to uh, knock off ABBA but then claim the spot for yourself. Uh, next up is going to be a Jackinator and Dakinator. Nice! Bam, here we go. Boo boom. Jack and Dak. Jack and Dak. This isn't this isn't a mod team up is it? It says Jackie and Dakota. It's you know we have, we have mods, mods named, named Jackie, Jackie and Dakota, Dakota, but I think Jackie spelled differently. So I think I, you're I think, right. I think it's not it. What are the odds? Uh, but the, not not good unless your name is Lauren, in which case extremely good. I know, right? Ooh, the Dino, the Zwilus. This 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 pack feels like it has critical hit potential, but I don't think we're gonna quite get there. Oh, the Quaxley oh, and, and the, the Squawkabilly! Squawk wow, way to finish strong on the pack. No kidding. At least a full art card for both members of the the Jack and Dak squad. Number right? two hundred six. Let's check that guy out. The Squawkabilly is pretty good. People are playing it in Lugia right now to help them set up their single strike Pokemon. All right. Well, the That's Illustrator nice. Rare Quaxley is gonna be worth three sixty seven, so that'll round up to four. Okay. And the Squawkabilly at number one sixty nine. 
is going to be worth 271. So that's three. So seven, eight, nine. Nine points. Bam, nine points there for 13 on the season, which I think we just said is like the magic number for Steve, right? No, uh, one shy. Big oh. Steve is 13 points. Okay, so, so well, this is still a good spot to be in because now they can pull a single point on the last pack. Exactly. Yep. Which is certainly not impossible this go round. Um, let's see, next up is Carly, our current leader via the eight times multiplier. Oh boy, big hitter looking, no matter what will extend her lead at the moment because she sits pretty lonely atop the leaderboard. Team Team Electric is currently chanting Carly's name oh, and with the oh rock my gosh, no energy. she didn't. Goodness no, gracious. No she didn't. And the Nackley right off the, the Fue Coco, the Watchroll, the Tinka Tink, the Azumarill, the Vespa Quinn, the Ice Q, the Relor, which is boring. Ring, the Garnacle will, will score, score twice because it's a rare and fighting. Uh, and the Belly Bolt! <laughs> oh, the belly Bolt! Oh my god! A full art Belly Bolt. There we go. Very impressive okay, showing so, by our current champion of the season. So one, two, three, plus the Belly Bolt. Which is worth uh, $2.20, so that'll round up to three. Three, so six times two is 12! 12 points! Wow! Up Very to 92 impressive. for Carly! Man, coming in, throwing down big numbers in both of our packs so far. I am, That's going to be pretty hard to catch. I am so curious to see if there's a way that we can get triple digits for, for Carly on that final pack of the season. Oh, but I know. Just what a, eight points. What seems a like it's a shoe in at this point. The crazy thing is, if you're Carly, un and unfortunately, is I want to say if you pull the alt Iono, you will still just jump into first. Just oh, without yes. any like, multipliers the, is, of any kind. There is someone who, yeah, some, some potential. Uh, the... Uh, special illustration Iono is worth one hundred and four dollars and sixty eight cents. Mm. So that would jump you up currently, and Man. we haven't seen one happen yet. So even be, yeah, e that that could still just on its own with no adjustments still beat the eight times multiplier. Uh, so we'll see if anyone pulls it. Next up is Afro Punk, who has got three points on the season. Maybe this wouldn't be crazy if this was it right now. That's, it would be pretty wild. Yeah. We're like we're like ah, yeah. as if yeah. it'll never just, happen. The old art Iono, and it's like oh, okay, it's the fireball energy right. Fireball. Fun, the Rockruff, the Larvitar, the Giacomo, the Talonflame, the Zwilus, the Meryl, and the Tyranitar. So just a three-peat performance of three points. There you go. Not the Iono they were hoping for, that everyone's hoping for. The crazy thing is, if Carly can get up to, what is it, 92 points now, so they would need a lot. That's like 14 plus 8, 22. They need like a 22-point pack to like secure like victory. Well, so, yeah, so they're currently at 92, is that right? Yeah. And one of, what did I just say? It was one I said of, 104. Oh, I thought it said 114. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so 92, so not quite, so like 12 points. 12 points. So, well, 13, I guess, because it'll round up. Right. Yeah, so they need they need a 13 point pack to secure it, provided there's nothing else in the Iono pack, if it ever even comes. Uh, next up is Blue Melon Mute for uh, their second pack of the season. Right now they've got three points. Let's see, I want to think, oh, I think it's your I believe your it is indeed. for the um, Mute. Mute here, I uh, did, I believe, come in uh, last place in our season two season. Oh, geez. Well done to Malamute. If I remember correctly, there we go. So we got the Salad Energy right off the top. We got the Magnemite, the Knackle will score. The Nimble, the Shinx, the Pomo, the Tinkatuff, the Bravery Charm, the Tarantula, the Quaxley. Neither of those will score. And the Weavile. So just two points. Bringing them to five on the season. Not a great spot to be in. Not really close to last place or eighth or Steve. So better luck. You never know. You could always pull exactly what you need. But That's true. That's true. I mean, because at any point in time, any pack could, I mean, could send. And again, if we get that, I know, that yeah. I, I Iono. Right, yeah, you could be looking bad until you pull Iono and then you're in first place. So. Exactly. This is exact this is like the spirit of gambling. Exactly. Sort of like you never know when your big your big one hit's more come. pack. One, one more, more pack. pack. Bam. Alright, dark teardrop energy for uh, Stefan and Susie, who's up now. We've got Murkra, Mischievous, Corviknight, Dedunsparce. The Pupitar will score. Wrong Magikarp. The Luminous Energy does not score, and the Tinkaton will. Just going to be a two-point pack for Stefan and Susie. They get to split those points again, just like they did last time. They have four on the season. They love CrossFit and Pokemon. Man, they are just looking for their big break. They too. are. It's yeah. going to come. It'll it's come. Gonna, yeah, it, it will. We're getting yeah. there. We're getting there. All right, next up we have got Blood Vamp, the hated rival of Andreon. There we go. Okay, Andriana is currently thinking like, okay, as long as it's just not good at all, then I'm happy. Right. I'm assuming this is coming down to that last place competition from last season where it looked like uh, Blood Vamp had pulled 
uh, a seven cent card, a twenty five cent card, and then closed out the season with a four point uh. card. So was was probably going for last place. I assume that's what we're going for there. Uh, we got the eyeball energy. We got the Shrewdle, the Glimmit will score, the Bramblin, the Shinks, the oh, Iono will Iono score, scores. the Knackle Stack will score. Man, a Andriana right now is just like, oh she come hates on, hates it. Corvusquire, the Croco will score, the Satitan. Uh, will not, not score, score, however, oh, the, the Jam Pal! Oh my gosh, Andriana is just screaming at the television. I can't believe it. That's one, two, three, four, five, plus whatever the Jam Pal is. Jam Pal is worth $7.12, so eight points. So 13 point pack there. Gonna bring them up to 17 on the season for Blood Vamp. That is really awesome. That's gonna put them in like 13th, 14th place there. So what does that do for Team Electric? What, how many points on the season is it? 17? 17, yes. So let's, let's take see. a peek for Team Electric. Actually, Actually yes, it, it does It does look like it would currently have you scoring. Yeah, scores a point. A point for Team Electric. There you go. So. And then Carly, of course, put up 12 points as well for Team Electric. So they're moving up today. They're, they're just kind of scooting their lead forward. There we go. So congrats on that Chim Pal. That's, there you that's go. awesome. Second Chim Pal. I know, man. This would be a good box if you were just looking to pull the Chim Pal. Next up, we've got Anna. Anna. Anna, who we finally solved the mystery. This is Anna, who did something insane in high school that she's don't know for, we'll, but won't say what it is. We know what it is. We know what it is. The we insane thing happened to us. We were it there. It was to us. It was to us. Yeah. More specifically to Ben. It was, yeah. 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 It, it was indeed. I was, I was like feet away. Feet away. Bam. Sound of energy. It wasn't anything uh, like like <laughs> negative or mean for what no. it's worth. We're just carrying on the secret now. We are. Hair we across, are. Kilowatt, or Calamitous Snowy Mountain, the Arctobax, and the Luxray. Wow. Oh, just a man. single point. For Anna. Maybe we should tell people it was something <laughs> bad, and that's the reason it was such a single point pack. Right, yeah. yeah. This is just karma. Karma. Cardma. Yeah. Cardma. Nailed oh, it. No. Yeah. That sounds like a great word for this game. It does. All right, next up we've got Jazzy J Truther. Yeah, you'll love to see it. So literally the last person was somebody I feel like I should have pulled for, and this seems like somebody you should be pulling for, well, but we've yeah. traded places. We mixed it up. We did indeed. Let's see if you can pull more than a single point for Jazzy J Truther. Oh, yeah, you did. I can. I can indeed. Already. Look at that. We've got the Rock is Pulling Energy, bubbling. the Rookie D, the Pikachu, the Slack Off, the Watchroll, the Gotharita, Honchgrow, the Pseudo Wudo will score, the Nackley will, will score, the Sandy Gast will not, but the uh, Gyarados will, so that's gonna be six points. Six points, right? Three times two for six. It's gonna bring Jazzy J Truther to ten points on the season. Oh. There you go. You're a lot more vindictive than I am. Hmm? Yeah, I guess. Well, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next up is Matthias. Who is coming in with four points? Let's see how they got here. They're currently playing a mothfolk board game named after, uh, based on Siru and Game of D and D. So I, I said that sentence, and I almost understood it. <laughs> it's like these words are coming out of my mm -hmm. mouth, and I am I am interpreting them playing as I go. A mothfolk bard named after and based on Siru in a game of D and D. I don't know. Oh, Siru is my shiny dust stocks from the Nuzlocke. Amazing. I there got we it. Go. Okay, okay. We got there. I was like, yes, the, a lot of these words, I know them individually, but not together. There we go. Gathita, Moshjif, Wingo, the Faulkner, the Saviper, the Pyroar. Oh, whoa, critical hit. Critical hit, Wingo. The Fui Coco and the Mill. Oh, man, how unfortunate. Goodness you get the gracious. critical hit, but just on the Mimikyu, it's just gonna bring you to two points, I'm afraid. Always excited. Whenever the critical hit comes up, I'm like, <gasps> It's like, yeah, something, something special could, could happen. happen! Could it happen? But no, nothing too crazy there. Next up, we've got Ellie, who's coming into the day with just two points as well, looking for something real big out of this pack. Her birthday is on St. Patrick's Day, so a known lucky person. Indeed, indeed. I also like to assume, uh, assume to be very good friends with somebody named Carl. Yeah. And we got to got the Nimble and the Mass Shift, the Slack Off, the Wooper, the Jet Energy, the Fighting Olay, the Mabostiff, the Super Rod will not score, the Corviknight will not score, and the Palm oh, will no. just be a single we spoke point. too soon. Let's see, so three points is a worth grabbing a, a total rare card value there on the Palmot, just in case. Uh, I mean, we can do it if you want. Go What's the number it. on that one? It is going to be 76. 76, let's do it just in case. In case we got a last place contender, it's gonna be six cents for the Palmot. Wow, Palmot, almost the worst card you could pull. <laughs> so lucky. <laughs> So lucky, so lucky. Emerald Phoenix, who I want to say is, well, start of the day in that quality eighth place spot has been bumped down at least once, but if they get like a single point, they might be able to reclaim that glory. You got to imagine Emerald Phoenix is absolutely gunning for this particular uh, like position. So oh, I, yeah. I, I would fully suspect a somewhere between three point or less pack. Okay, let's see it. Let's see what we got for, yep, yep, for yep, the yep, Phoenix yep. here. 
Bam. We got the Eyeball Energy, the Mischievous, the Sneasel, Gothita, Meryl, Vesplicrin, Ice Cube, the yeah, Iron of there Scores. There's yeah. two points. Choice belt, the Tauros, and the Slacking. Wow, Ben, you called it. It's a three point pack. Three point pack. As ever, that's going to bring them to 23 on the season, and still, that's going to put them in what, seventh place overall? Worth mentioning that Emerald Phoenix is currently the points overall leader for Team Fire. Oh, wow. So, so also, that is three more points for Fire. There we go. Yep, three more points for Fire. Worth mentioning that the leader for Fire is in sixth place, though. Right, yeah. So they could be doing a little better. They're, yeah, they, they're, they're, especially compared to Team Electric and Water, who both have uh, three members each ahead of uh, Team Fire's first person. So. Wow, wow. It's like when uh, your cross-country team is just destroying everyone else at the meet. Yeah, it is like yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, well. Which is exactly how we do the scoring, in case you're wondering. Yes, that is how it works. <laughs> All right, next up we've got Megan K. Is it my turn? It I believe turn? it's your turn. Okay, no, well, is it my turn? Uh, I you, I've pulled more than you for sure. Uh, this always happens. It does. No, that's all right. Um, let's see here. So Megan K, let's see what we got for you here today. I like to think that it adds a degree of the randomness to the equation because yeah. it's like we're not just necessarily like pulling side by side, it's, you know. All right, so we've got the whole the water energy, the teardrop, We've got the Fuey Coco, the Bramblin, the Kufont, the Krogon score, scores. the Grusha, the Prime Maple score, the Miss Mages, the Crocolore will not, the Reversal Energy will not, and the Cerulege will. Does. Three points total there for 21 on the season for Megan K, which is pretty good. Good, that's gonna, oh, they're gonna be right there around eighth place too. Yep, so not a not at all a bad spot. I mean, I feel like we're starting to really see some contenders for that quality eighth place position. We are, it's a hotly contested one this season. You never know, you know, because the thing about quality eighth place is that people can be fighting for those like minor spots to be in eighth place, but they can be affected by everyone who scores above them. Yes, yeah, yeah, I like the way that all the different positions all kind of come with their own like bag of tricks. Yes. In terms of like they're how, really, you're, yeah. how you're gonna land there. All right, next up is Josh. Uh, let's see how they're doing. They got five on the season so far. Oh, they got the Rockus Pummel. Okay, let's see go. something big, Josh. Let's go. Pine Cole. The Meryl, Mankey. The Mankey. Yep. So there's some points. The Delibird, the Luxio, the Luminous Energy, the Bombardier. Oh, for a second, I thought we had the critical hit. The Luxray will score. The, oh, the Haryama will score. And the Orthworm will score. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five times two is ten. Nice points. work by well Josh. Well done. There you go. Way to put the uh, type advantage to work there. Fifteen on the season. That's looking pretty solid as well. All right. Let's see. Next up, we've got Nixie Claw. All right, Nixie Claw. Nixie Claw has three points coming in. They are a JMU alumni class of 2009, meaning they were definitely there at the same time as my wife. Almost the same time as me. Well, I almost went to JMU, and I yeah. would have been there at that time. So almost the same time as me. Uh, the Pikachu, the Kufant, the Krogunk will score. I feel like we've had a bunch of those scores. So scores many today. The Krogunks. The Quaxwell, the Swagaro, the Forever... Forever... Ramblin uh, won't score. The Combi won't score. And the, the Tyranitar. So just a two-point pack uh, overall. So Nixie Claw gets to five on the season. They're going to be looking for something big next time. I know, yeah. Got, got, got to finish strong, Nixie Claw. Right? All right, next up is Veva who is coming in with just three points as well. This is Veva who cross-stitches for fun. Versus those people who cross-stitch for... For pain. Mercy. Yeah, <laughs> for mercy. <laughs> Have mercy. <laughs> Here we go, Fireball, Energy, uh, Wingle, Pineco, the Mankey will score, the Knackle Stack will score, the Calamitous Snowy Mountain, the Bravery Charm, and the Veluza. Man, Veluza, this does not look like a rare card. It really doesn't. It just it doesn't. Just does it. You're right. Man. So just a three-point pack we overall. We're still looking to close out the day with something exciting. Although we've had Man. a couple of decent had, packs on the day We had the Chim Pow. That we was did. pretty solid. Let's see. Now we've got Heartbeat. Nice. Yeah. Man, I felt that. Wow. Me too. I'll try to I'll try to bring a lot of heart to this particular opening. All right, they've been watching SCB for a long time. It's what got them into Harry Potter and fantasy in general. No way! How fun is that? You're welcome. We got the Satoddle, the Shrewdle, the Jigglypuff, the Phalanx will score, the Bramblegath, the Toxic Croak will score, the Crocolore, the Low Kicks will score. I'm oh. so sorry, I almost missed that. The Gyarados will, will score, score, and the Low <gasps> Kicks. So we got a critical it hit. It's a critical hit on the rare cards. That's amazing. So okay. that's going to be what? One, two, three, four, five times two. T that's a ten point pack. That's right a there. ten point pack. Way to pull wow. something out of nothing. I love the critical hit on the rares. You never see that one coming. I know that's so cool, man. Well and if done. only they had been uh, rocket's pummeling as well, that would have. Oh been my like, gosh, we got out a four times multiplier. Really doubling down. They would have been up to forty points. Oh well, oh. no twenty. I'm sorry. 
That's okay. Math, math, math. Math, math, math. All right, and we are down to our final pack of the day. It is skill. Final pack, two packs left in the box, however, which means that you have to pick one. Which one feels like the right one? Oh, you know what? Let me give it a good hand feel. Oh, man. I, okay, okay. No, I think I was right, up, right, I was right away. I was you were right, right the first time. Right the first time. Okay. There we go. All right, Chris, or uh, skill is a Slytherin keeper. It does take skill. Hopefully I was skillful in picking which pack for you. We've got some last pack magic going on here. Woo! Let's see it. It's Dark Teardrop Energy. All right. The Magnemite, the, the Phalanx will score. The Jigglypuff, the Zwilus, the Spidops, the Pyroar, the Knackle Stack will score. The Hoppip will not. And oh. the Glamora. So not too much. That's going to be one, two, three, four points total for a total of nine on the season for skill. Man, there we go. There we the, go. The leftover pack does, in fact, mean uh, that there is a little bit of availability over at patreon.com slash supercarlingaming if you would like to go and have us open a pack for you. I know some people are curious as to whether or not uh, you actually receive the pack, and you do. We will mail it to you. It's you so are... dangerous that you're opening this on camera. I know, no, I'm so curious. I wanted to see whether or not you picked the right pack. So, I know, I see. Yeah, so we got the Tadpole, the Giraffe Rig, which oh, would scores. have scored a yeah, point. Right. Great, yeah, the Relor, the Pelipper, the Fletchender, the Vigoroth, the Saguaro, the Hydreigon will score, and the Jump Bluff. So okay, I think I so did, yeah. I think you did good. Instead you did good. of a uh, four-point pack, you could have had a three-point pack. So, so just for... Um, just for good, safe record keeping. There, you, there go. you go. We Jay did actually right. did exactly right by you. Again, guys, if you would like to go and uh, become a supporter of the show and get a pack open for yourself that you will then receive in the mail, you can head on over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming and select any of the box breakers tier. Uh, otherwise, until next time, Hariyama! Hariyama!